everyone, my name's Emma. Today's Woven Daily is from Acts 21, 1 to 16. After we had torn ourselves away from them, we put out to sea and sailed straight to Cos. The next day we went to Rhodes and from there to Patara. We found a ship crossing over to Phoenicia, went on board and set sail. After sighting Cyprus and passing to the south of it, we sailed on to Syria. We landed at Tyre, where our ship was to unload its cargo. Finding the disciples there, we stayed with them seven days. Through the Spirit, they urged Paul not to go on to Jerusalem. But when our time was up, we left and continued on our way. All the disciples and their wives and children accompanied us out of the city. And there on the beach, we knelt to pray. After saying goodbye to each other, we went aboard the ship and they returned home. We continued our voyage from Tyre and landed at Ptolemy, where we greeted the brothers and stayed with them for a day. Leaving the next day, we reached Caesarea and stayed at the house of Philip the Evangelist, one of the seven. He had four unmarried daughters who prophesied. After we had been there a number of days, a prophet named Agabus came down from Judea. Coming over to us, he took Paul's belt, tied his own hands and feet with it and said, The Holy Spirit says, In this way, the Jews of Jerusalem will bind the owner of this belt and will hand him over to the Gentiles. When we heard this, we and the people there pleaded with Paul not to go up to Jerusalem. Then Paul answered, Why are you weeping and breaking my heart? I am ready not only to be bound, but also to die in Jerusalem for the name of the Lord Jesus. When he would not be dissuaded, we gave up and said, the Lord's will be done. After this, we got ready and went up to Jerusalem. Some of the disciples from Caesarea accompanied us and brought us to the home of Nason, where we were to stay. He was a man from Cyprus and one of the early disciples. So I think from this passage, there are three pretty big challenges for us. So firstly, um, through Acts, we see the disciples traveling a lot, going to lots of different places, talking to people about Jesus. Um, And I think the first challenge here is whether we are willing to go wherever God wants us to go. Even if it is a scary place or a place far away from home, are we willing to go for God? Secondly, we see that Paul is warned um, about the dangers of going to Jerusalem. It's not going to be an easy place for him to be. It's going to be a scary and dangerous place. Yet he is so obedient and his um, desire to do God's will comes before anything else. He's happy to risk his life um, in order to go to Jerusalem because that's where he feels that God is calling him to. So are we willing to be obedient to God no matter what it is that he wants us to do? And then finally, I think a big challenge in this is um, when the disciples have said to Paul their thoughts and um, tried to get him to not go to Jerusalem. They say basically, well, all we can do now is pray that God's will be done. So I think a great challenge for us there even when things are really tricky and really hard, are we praying for God's will to be done? And are we hoping that this will happen? So I'm just gonna pray for us um, to end. Yeah, Lord Jesus, I thank you so much for this passage and the challenges that are within it. I pray that you just help us to be really obedient to you and to go wherever you call us to. Yeah, Lord Jesus, we just pray that your will be done. And remind us to pray that daily, Lord. Amen.